Math hack. When subtracting from a number with a lot of zeros at the end, just subtract one from both numbers and then subtract so you never have to borrow ever again. This is so much easier for me. The answer is 6,453. And we could do something similar when what we're taking away is really close to a nice number. I would much rather subtract 100 here, so let's add 2 to both numbers. Wouldn't you want to do this problem instead? Yeah, I can see that the answer is 415. And guess what? We could do the same thing when subtracting mixed numbers. It would be a lot easier if what we're taking away, the subtrahend, is a whole number. So if we add 1 eighth to both of these numbers, we would get, in my opinion, a much easier problem than the original. I can see that the answer is 2 and 5 eighths. Now, of course, why does this work? Well, one way we can see subtraction is what's the distance between these two numbers on the number line, and direction matters. So if we add or subtract the same amount to both numbers, that distance is preserved, meaning we will get the same final answer. Some call the strategy constant difference, Others call it same distance, same difference. So I really like this subtraction strategy. Feel free to try it out by practicing with these.